It's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man. But he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done today. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team has been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have any need. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. Been there, you've done that. That is man on the planet. Put that very distinction on the line. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that problem. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. To never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest ever in the world. Our tale of the day for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Andre the Pitbull Alaska. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, Sergey Pavlovich. So Herb Dean, third man Ready. in there for this one. Ready. Go. All right, here we go. Up for grabs tonight. The title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. And he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking point. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never doing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. All right, so here we go with round one. You know about the reach advantage. It jumped off the page on the tail of the tape. Now let's see if he can use that jab, take advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach, and keep his opponent on the outside. Man, they are trading early and often. Here we go. Let's go. This will be a good fight. We knew it would. These guys are intent to make it happen. And there was a lead elbow. So he's mixing everything up. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the city after and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, it looks like he's got that submission locked in. Starting to get deep. Oh, he got out. Oh, he got out. He did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward and off to the side, rolled to his back to release that pressure. And that Everybody in this arena still digesting this.
this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. We now go to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 31 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Andre the Pitbull Olowski. So how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion, and he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight. He submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner, and this is just an amazing moment for fighter and coach and team. The celebration is on for the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I never knew I, knew I, I never knew I, 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 knew I don't do white music, nope. I make fight music for high school kids I put lives at risk when I drive like this I put wives at risk with a knife like this Shit. You probably think I'm in your take deck now I'm in the backseat of your truck with duct tape stretched out Duck the fuck way down, waiting to straight jump out Put it over your mouth and grab you by the face, what now? Oh, you want me to watch my mouth? How? Take my fucking eyeballs out and turn them around? Look, I'll burn your fucking house down, circle around And hit the hydrant so you can't put your burning furniture out I'm sorry, there must be a mix-up You want me to fix up lyrics? While the president gets his dick sucked <sighs> Fuck that, take drugs, rape sluts Make fun of gay clubs, men who wear makeup Get away, wake up, get a sense of humor We're trying to send some music, this is for your kids' music kid. But don't blame me when Lil Eric jumps off of the terrace You should've been watching him, apparently you ain't parents I never knew I, knew I would get this big I never knew I, knew I'd affect this kid I never knew I'd get in the slick, wrist I never knew I, get him to hit this bitch I never knew I, knew I would get this big I never knew I, knew I'd affect this kid I never knew why Get him to slip his wrist I never knew why Get him to hit this bitch So who's bringing the guns in this country? Mm -hmm. I couldn't sneak a plastic pellet gun Through customs over in London And last week I seen this Schwarzenegger movie Where he's shooting all sorts of these motherfuckers with a Uzi I see these three little kids up in the front row Screaming go with their 17 year old uncle I'm like guidance Ain't they got the same moms and dads who got mad When I asked if they like violence? And told me that my tape taught him to swear What about the makeup you allow your 12 year old daughter to wear? Mm -hmm. So tell me that your son doesn't know any cuss words When his bus driver's screaming at him, fuck fucking him up worse And fuck was the first word I ever learned up in the third grade Flipping the gym teacher the bird Look. So read up, about how I used to get beat up Peter on, be on free lunch and change school every three months My life's like, kinda what my wife's like what? Fucked up after I beat her fucking ass every night, Ike So how much easier would life be if 19 million motherfuckers grew to be just like me Cause I never knew I, knew I would get this big. I never knew I, knew I would get this big. 
Of a new car. A couple years ago, I was more poorer than you are. I don't got that bad of a mouth, do I? Fuck shit ass bitch, cunt, shoot the new wop. Skip it bebop for Christopher Reeves. Sonny Bono sees horses and hitting some trees. Hey! How many retards to listen to me? And run up in the school shooting when they pissed at a teach. Her, her, and him, it's you, it's a them. Wasn't me, Slim Shady said to do it again. Damn, how much damage can you do with a pen? Man, I'm just fucked up as you would have been. You would have been in my shoes. Who would have thought Slim Shady would be something that you would have bought? That would have made you get a gun and shoot at a cop. I just said it. I ain't know if you do it or not. Cause I never knew why. Knew I would get this big. I never knew why. Knew I'd affect this kid. I never knew why. Get him to slip his wrist. I never knew why. Get him to hit this bitch. I never knew why. Knew I would get this big. I never knew why. Knew I'd affect this kid. I never knew why. Get him to slip his wrist. I never knew why. Get him to hit this bitch. How the fuck was I supposed to know? 